SpaceX Crew Dragon suffers anomaly during engine tests and smoke has been seen for miles around. This is uh, photos from NASA. It's on RT. NASA and SpaceX confirmed that there was some kind of anomaly during a series of engine tests of the Crew Dragon capsule. After witnesses reported and shared pictures of a plume of smoke, orange smoke, visible from miles away. Quote, earlier today, SpaceX conducted a series of engine tests on a Crew Dragon test vehicle on our test stand at Landing Zone 1 in Cape Canaveral, Florida. This is what the company spokesperson said, adding, the initial test completed successfully, but the final test resulted in an anomaly on the test stand. And Emery Kelly says, breaking news, he tweets, SpaceX a Crew Dragon suffered an anomaly during test fire today. According to 45th Space Wing, smoke could be seen on the beaches. On April 20th, an anomaly occurred at Cape Canaveral Air Force AFS during Dragon 2 static test fire. Anomaly was contained and no injuries. The company did not deliberate on the damage inflicted to the spacecraft or the testing site, but NASA was immediately notified of the incident. The NASA and SpaceX teams are assessing the anomaly that occurred today. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine confirmed. Now, on April 20th, the anomaly occurred at Cape Canaveral AFS during Dragon 2 static test fire. Anomaly was contained, no injuries. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.